Hello everyone, I'm Cruise Man, and these are my 10 favorite tools that I think you need to work on your motorcycle. Hello again, and welcome back to Cruise Man's Garage, where today I'm going to talk about my 10 must-have tools for working on a motorcycle. And if you watch to the very end of the video, I'll reveal a special bonus tool. Now, most of you already know that I ride and work on my 2018 Honda Goldwing, but with only a couple of exceptions, the tools I'm going to talk about in this video will apply to any motorcycle. So whether you're working on a Honda, a Harley, a BMW, or an Indian, you should watch this video to the very end. Now, every tool I talk about in this video, I personally own and use on a regular basis. This video is not sponsored by any of the tool companies I mentioned. In fact, the video is sponsored by my own Honda Goldwing maintenance video series, but I'll talk a little bit more about that later on. I will include links in the description of this video where you can purchase many of these tools I recommend. Some of these links may be for my Amazon page where I do get compensated for any purchases made through those links. Every tool I recommend, I've purchased with my own money. None of these tools were given to me to promote. So with that out of the way, let's get started. While the screws used on your metric motorcycle may look like Phillips screws, in actuality they are most likely JIS screws. And JIS stands for Japanese Industry Standard. And there is a slight difference between JIS screws and Phillips screws. There are special screwdrivers made with tips specifically for JIS screws. In most cases, you can get by using a Phillips screwdriver to remove a JIS screw. However, if you encounter one that's really tight and difficult to remove, a Phillips screwdriver could cam out and end up damaging the head of the screw. You could end up with a stripped screw head, which is no fun. One of the best investments you can make is in a set of JIS screwdrivers, and a JIS screwdriver can be used to remove standard Phillips screws. Now, over the years, I've tried several JIS screwdrivers, and my favorite ones are the ones from Vessel. But honestly, you only really need the Vessel Megadora No. 2 and the Stubby Megadora No. 2. I find myself using the number 1 tip screwdriver nah, not very often. Yeah, maybe if you encounter a really small screw. The new Vessel Megadora screwdrivers have these tiny little grooves cut in the tip which help them grab the screw heads better. And here is a little pro tip. When you're trying to remove a really difficult tight screw, try a light tap with a small hammer before trying to loosen the screw. My second favorite tool are these little medical clamps and they're one of the handiest tools I own. I use these all the time to get into cramped spaces. I own the 12 inch long hemostats and you can buy a set of these for about $15 on Amazon. If you drop a screw or bolt into an area where you can see it but your hand simply won't fit, grab the hemostat. They lock into position making them perfect for holding on to small parts. I recently used mine to hold on to a nut that needed to go on top of a bolt that was accessible but almost impossible to reach by hand. Now, these come with curved and straight tips, and you'll end up using both of them at some point. Another must-have tool for every home mechanic is a good shop magnet. I actually have a few different sizes of these magnets. The small ones can fit into very tight spaces to retrieve a dropped bolt or screw, and the larger ones are good if you need to pick up a heavier item like a oil drain bolt that might fall into the drain pan full of hot engine oil. Yeah, I always drop at least one every time I change my oil. Once again, a set of these is only about $15 on Amazon and they come in super handy. Sometimes you'll drop a screw or bolt or washer in an area where you can't even see it, but you can fish around for a while with one of these magnets and retrieve it. In fact, sometimes you retrieve something you didn't even expect. My favorite wire stripper is the one from Irwin, the Vice Grip. If you plan on adding any electrical accessories to your motorcycle, at some point you're going to need to strip some wires. And this wire stripper from Vice Grip is hands down the best tool for the job. I use it all the time. 
the self-adjusting clamps will intelligently strip virtually any gauge of braided or solid core wire. So you can use this tool for your motorcycle, your car, or any household wiring that needs stripping. You just won't know how you got by without this tool. Now there are some cheaper Chinese knockoffs on Amazon that look like the vice grip stripper, but I recommend that you spend a few more dollars and get the one from Irwin. You won't be sorry. When it comes time to extracting or injecting fluids into or out of your motorcycle, there are two tools I highly recommend. I use the Mighty Vac Fluid Extractor whenever I need to extract fluid from my coolant reservoir. It works great. And when it comes time to replace my rear drive gear oil, which I do every 10,000 miles, I use the Mix Miser. You could use the Mighty Vac for this also, but it's a bit large and clumsy for that job. The Mix Miser is small and easy to work with, and both of these are available on Amazon. And as with all of the tools I talk about today, I'll have links in the description of this video. I'm only halfway through my 10 favorite tools for working on your motorcycle. Not all of you out there ride a Honda Goldwing. I realize that, but some of you do. So I'd like to remind you the best tool is Cruise Man's Garage Maintenance Videos. Dealers are now charging up to $175 an hour for labor. Just an oil change can cost $150 or more, and that's insane. That's why I want you to consider doing these jobs yourself in your own garage with basic tools like the ones we're talking about today. My videos will show you step by step how to change your oil and filter, flush and bleed your brakes, replace your air filter, change brake pads, flush your radiator coolant, and much, much more. You can save more than $1,000 per year in dealer labor charges by doing these jobs yourself. But more important than that is when you do the work yourself, you know it gets done right. Do you want some 19-year-old Honda service tech who gets paid based on how fast he gets your bike out the door working on your motorcycle? Do it yourself, save the money, make sure it gets done right. My videos will show you how. Go to cruisemansgarage.com for more information or use the links in the video description. Now, let's get on with the show. In the number six position is my Bosch portable drill and step bits. There are just times where you, all you need to do is drill a hole, and a good friend of mine gave me this Bosch portable cordless drill a few years ago for Christmas, and it's one of the best gifts I've ever received. I use this little drill all the time when working on my motorcycle or around the house. If you have a motorcycle with plastic parts, you may need to drill holes in plastic for adding certain types of accessories. A good, powerful, but small cordless drill is the perfect tool, especially when it's combined with the correct step bit. These step bits cut through plastic like butter and give you a perfectly smooth hole you'll never get with a traditional drill bit. I have this set of three step bits from Amazon and I love the way they display the metric size right on the steps of the bit. There are a lot of Allen bolts on a Japanese and European motorcycles. I use my T-handle Allen wrenches almost every time I work on the bike, probably more than any other tool. And this complete set from Klein Tools is my favorite and they are made in the USA. So if you work on a Harley, they also make Torx T-handle wrenches. They come in 9-inch and 6-inch. I kind of like the 9-inch for getting to those hard-to-reach bolts. I like that they display the size on the top of the handles, too. Bleeding the brakes and clutch can be a two-man job without speed bleeders. Now, I've installed speed bleeders on every motorcycle I have owned in the past 15 years, and I love them. Basically, you replace the bleed valves on your brake calipers with these speed bleeders. And there's a one-way check valve built into the speed bleeder so that when you bleed your brakes, all you have to do is open the valve about a quarter of a turn and then begin pumping your brake lever or pedal to move the new clean fluid through the system. Without the speed bleeders, Air would travel back up into the line and into your brake system when you release the lever or the pedal. But the one-way check valve allows fluid to escape 
but will not allow air or dirty fluid to go back into the system. Speed bleeders are only available directly from their website, and I'll put a link to their website in the description of this video. Again, there are some knockoff brands on Amazon that claim to do the same thing, but for me personally, I would stick with the Speed Bleeders brand from their website. Now, there's another great tool that works in a similar fashion from Motion Pro. It's the Brake Bleeder Hydraulic. I think it's the MP080143. And this works very similar. It's a good option for those of you who, for whatever reason, don't want to replace your bleed valves. Unlike the Speed Bleeders, the Motion Pro tool is available through Amazon. In the number nine spot, I'm going to get a little picky. Another inexpensive tool that comes in very handy is this set of picks. You'll be amazed how often you use these little picks to get into hard places. They're great for punching in the center post of those plastic body clips or rivets. There are some of these body clips that are in tight spaces, and I use the 90 degree pick to get to those clips. You can get an entire set of these for under $10 on Amazon. Once again, you'll be amazed at how many times you'll reach for one of these little picks to help you on a project. Tightening screws and bolts on your motorcycle to the proper torque specs is extremely important. A good torque wrench is essential to proper maintenance. And it's taken me years to find a good torque wrench that is high quality, yet not two or three hundred dollars. I recently found this one from Gear Wrench, and I love it. It's a 3 8 inch drive with a torque range from 10 to 100 foot-pounds, which will cover most of everything you need on a motorcycle. This torque wrench gets great reviews, and I have to agree, it's one of the best that I've found for the price. The torque wrench displays foot-pounds on one side and newton meters on the other. The adjustment ring is very smooth, and there's a spring-loaded locking ring at the base, a feature that I really love. This prevents you from accidentally changing the torque settings while you're using the wrench, and it's much more elegant than the locking nut that most torque wrenches in this price range have. The operation of this wrench is very smooth. I like that this torque wrench comes in a very nice, durable plastic case for storage. Now, if you're a professional mechanic and you use a torque wrench every day in your job, go ahead and spend two or three hundred dollars on one of those digital snap-on torque wrenches. But for the home mechanic who only uses a torque wrench every few weeks at the most, this gear wrench should give you years of reliable service. And here's a pro tip for using your torque wrench. After you've used the wrench before you store it away, always back off the torque ring to zero. Okay, I mentioned at the beginning of this video that I would reveal a bonus tool. So my final favorite tool is my big red Torin scissor jack. Now, if you own a motorcycle lift, you probably don't need this tool. But if, like me, you don't own a motorcycle lift, this little scissor jack comes in super handy. I originally bought this so I could raise the front wheel off the ground to remove the front wheel. And when used in conjunction with the jack stands, it works perfectly. But even if all I need to do is clean my front wheel, it's so easy to slip this under the front of the engine, raise the front wheel a couple of inches so I can easily clean the wheel. The jack is only 25 bucks, and a pair of stands, I think, is 30. Like most of the tools I've mentioned in this video, these are available through the Amazon links. Well, that wraps up my 10 or 11 favorite tools for working on your motorcycle. If you found this video helpful, please click the like button so that YouTube will share it with more viewers. And remember, if you're passionate about motorcycles, why not subscribe to my YouTube channel? It's completely free, and you can be notified when I come out with more life-changing videos like this one. Thanks for joining me today, and remember, working on your own motorcycle can be almost as enjoyable as riding it.